What up, good people, and welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. It's your man Ahmad here to give you guys some insight and tell you a little bit about some dope things that I came across this past week. So, as you can tell, scenery is a little different, surround is a little different. I'm not at home for this episode. I am actually out in Seattle this week for Hashikov. What's Hashikov, you may ask? HashiConf is a conference put on by a company called HashiCorp. What HashiCorp does, the space they play in, is really the cloud space. They're a major vendor there. Uh, the benefit of HashiCorp's tools are that they allow you to do automation, orchestration, things of that nature across cloud platforms. So organizations that have a multi-cloud environment generally will utilize HashiCorp's tools to be able to implement the same things across those environments without having to go to each individual provider's own unique tool. So a classic example, a very popular um, product there is Terraform, which allows you to do infrastructure as code. Not going to go deep into it, but what infrastructure as code is, for those of you who work in the traditional data center world or in IT at all, you know your infrastructure is your routers, your you know your servers, your firewalls, whatever, whatever, right? What, what Terraform will allow you to do is deploy those things in a particular configuration already. So you don't have to go through the internet. When you, you know how you normally go through setting up a server on prem, and you got to go through all this stuff to make it you know adhere to the standard, so forth and so on. You don't have to go through that with Terraform. Terraform will allow you to. Uh, do that via uh, creating a template. Those of you familiar with AWS, it's cloud formation, but for everybody. Um, but I, I digress. Uh, the tools are really, really useful for anyone who's in uh, a cloud environment, uh, whether you're securing it, whether you're trying to uh, operate it, whether you're trying to administrate it, administer it, or whether you're trying to architect it, right? They have a suite of tools that are very, very beneficial in, in all of those areas. The organization I work for, we use it heavily. Um, so, you know, hence the reason I'm out here. So, uh, uh, this conference is going to last one. I'll, I'll be here until, until Wednesday. So, the plan is, the plan for, for our interaction is uh, today's Sunday. Initial video, letting you guys know what's going on. Uh, tomorrow I'm not really going to be at the conference they have a training going on didn't really, there were some complications with me getting into training so I'm just going to you know, go to go to the office of our, the local office that my organization has here and do some work right, and um, you know, if I see anything cool around Seattle, I mean, I'll vlog about it and attach it to this video Tuesday and Wednesday however, I will be at the conference attending talks, gathering information, learning really cool stuff Anything I learned that I think is pretty cool or pretty dope, I will, you know, do a little little brain dump about it, a little vlog about it, and add it into the video. This will be just one video, maybe a little bit longer than normally than I normally do because it'll be four days, but it'll just be one video. So that being said, you know how I always start off my videos with the dope music that I've heard. It's nothing different. Let me go ahead and just get you guys. Uh, put you guys up on some of the dope music that I've heard recently. So there's a few projects that um, I want to say I probably overlooked. They haven't come out as of like this past Friday. There was some music released this past Friday, but nothing that excuse me, nothing that really really stood out to me. But um, a few of the projects that I just really hadn't had a chance to listen to um, that have stood out over the past couple weeks are um, Lizzo. First of all, it's an artist named Lizzo. Never was was never really up on Lizzo. Never heard any of her music. She has a uh, project called Because I Love You. She recently performed at the MTV Music Awards. The buzz that that kind of generated caught my attention. I decided to give her a listen. Dope project. Very very dope project. Uh, definitely worth a listen. Once again, it's Lizzo. Because I love you. That's the first project. Um, next, uh, really was it? I. I I'm not saying I'm shocked I slept on this person, but I really, really like TDE, uh, Kendrick Lamar, the label he's associated with. I like the majority of their artists, and I'm shocked I hadn't checked this guy out because he's on TDE. Gentleman by the name of Sir. Um, very, very, very dope project called Chasing Summer. Apparently, he has 
a couple of other projects out as well that I need to go back and listen to. But uh, Sir Chasing Summer uh, on TDE's label, very 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 dope project. Uh, check that out. Um, you know, singing uh, a lot. Of really, I mean, voice is great. It's not a hip hop project. It's voices. I mean, it's 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 a singing soulful type project. Very very uh, very very talented person. Extremely uh, smooth voice, in my opinion. Um, I would say put Lizzo in that same voice. She, however, does both. She raps and sings. Multi talented young lady. Both those projects, super dope. Uh, third project. I really was sleeping on this one. I, I'm shocked because I'm a huge fan of his. ASAP Ferg. ASAP Ferg has a new project out called Floor Seats. Um, I had it marked to listen to in both Apple Music and Tidal and just never got around to listen to it. You know, life happens, got busy, so forth and so on. A um, couple of days ago, maybe about two, three days ago, finally got around to listening to it and was like, whew, man, I missed some heat. Um, Ferg project was a great project I mean check that out you to listen obviously Ferg is hip hop um, once again name of projects floor seats uh, trying to think of something else that I uh, look down here at my notes to see if there's anything else that I really neglected to tell you guys um, for those guys who like that gritty 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 raw uh, raw 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 hip hop the really gritty like Benny the Butcher Griselda West Side Gun, that type hip hop, there's a dude named 38 Special. His project is, and I'm trying to find it here because I really gave that a listen and was pleasantly surprised. A Bullet for Every Heathen. <laughs> yes, the name of the project is A Bullet for Every Heathen. But it's dope. Like, I listened to it to get me hyped up to go listen, you know, push some weight. Um, you by weights I mean in the gym um, I listen to it really really uh, to get me really really hyped up to go you know exercise work out and push and try to push some serious weight in the gym um, it's it's one of those type deals so yeah that's it that's my little blurb for the day um, you know this is the first part of the video uh, there'll be at least two or three more parts so um, the next time you hear from me will be not in this room It'll be in Seattle, probably at HashiConf. So um, let's go ahead and get right to it, the good stuff.
motorcycle from Purple Rain? Oh, that was bad. Houses. Uh, Prince Blouses. Three, two, one, action. Day one of HashiConf is in the books. It has been a long but really fun and interesting day. Um, it's 10 o'clock at night here in Seattle. Uh, I have been on the go since 8 o'clock this morning, really nonstop, uh, just at various talks and, and things and events with Hashi Corp for, for this gathering, which is HashiConf. So um, here's a recap. Um, so you know, get up in the morning. You know, obviously, go have go to the the venue, have breakfast at the site of Hashikov. Free breakfast on them. The initial talk starts at nine thirty. Today was the first day of the talks. Yesterday they had the training sessions, which I did not attend. Um, so today was really the first day of the talks. So nine thirty had the keynote. Um, which was less like a keynote and more like a talk itself, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so got done with that and then really just had, went to four other talks and, you know, sprinkled in there. We managed to get lunch as well. They provided lunch for us as well, which was great. Um, you know, we, I think we had chicken and, uh, fish and, um, a curry something. I mean, it was a really good lunch. Um, so I managed to get lunch, four other talks, um, and I will list the topics of all the talks below. They were very informative, very well put together, delivered well. I gained a lot of information. Um, you know, I was overall I was thoroughly pleased with the content, the delivery, and um, just what I was able to glean from the talks that I was able to go to. I mainly focused on console and Terraform today. Uh, I plan on doing console and Vault tomorrow, but today was really just console and Terraform as far as the uh, suite of HashiCorp or the HashiCorp products that I, I went to talks on today. Um, so there was also a, a keynote, a closing keynote, which was just for today. It's not like the conference is over. And which is also wound up being another talk. So that was a, a pleasant surprise. So that was full of information. Um, that ended about 5.20. Um, so Google Cloud in conjunction with HashiCorp was throwing an event or throwing a soiree, if you may, for uh, for all of the attendees after, you know, an after hours kind of mixture type deal. So I set, went and set down my bag in my room, came back, and really went to this mixer. It was at the Pop Museum of Art here in Seattle. So I've never been. Obviously, this is my first trip to Seattle. Um, I'd never been, but I'd heard really good things about it. So I was pretty excited. So we get there, and, you know, Google and HashiCorp, Hashi excuse me, have really kind of rented the place out 
So, you know, there's an open bar and they have food set out for us everywhere, tacos and so forth and so on. So it was that was that was really awesome. Um, but the venue itself was was really, really great. It is exactly what it says it is. It's a pop museum of art. Uh, they have different exhibits. They had a Jimi Hendrix exhibit that was great. Uh, Prince exhibit that was 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 incredibly awesome. I saw the if it's not the original, it's definitely a great replica of the motorcycle he rode in Purple Rain. So um, that was pretty awesome. Um, they had a Minecraft exhibit, which I thought was great. And all this is on the main level. Then they had a, um, up at the top, upper level, level three, they had what they called the sound lab. And you could go in there, play with instruments, you know, play with vocals, kind of play around with what it would be like to be in a recording studio. There's even a spot where you can make your own, record your own song, which I, me or none of my coworkers did. We just really goofed off. But we thought it was pretty cool. So, um... You know, after we did that, hung there for a while, really had some great conversations with some great people, networked a lot, learned a lot of experience from experiences from different um, organizations and, you know, some of the challenges they've had. So really got some insight in how they overcame those challenges, some things I could take back and leverage in situations that I'm in at, at the organization I work for. So that was pretty awesome. Um Left there, I mean, uh, really, not really left there, but the night wound down, went outside, took a picture of the Space Needle, and really just uh, wrapped it up from there. Uh, it was an overall a, a wonderful day. Like I said earlier, gained a lot of valuable information, um, had a lot of great conversations, uh, saw a lot of interesting things, saw a lot of interesting people. Um, overall, today definitely was a win. Very, very dope day. I am going to include uh, pictures of the, uh, some pictures that I took during the talks, as well as pictures and video that I took during my trip to the Pop Museum of Art in this video. Um, I'm going to list the topics that were covered in the talks I went to in the description below. So, you know, you can do a little research on it if you like on your own. Um, but that was really it. That it's it was a wonderful, wonderful day. So far, so good. I'm very impressed. Well, day two for me of Hashi Conf. Hashi Conf is getting ready to start. It's the last day. I'm going to attend a few of these sessions, um, and then I am on the way home. Um, Seattle has been uh, has been great. Uh, it's my first time actually in Seattle. I've uh, been to Redmond before on uh, Microsoft's campus, but never got the chance to come into Seattle. Um, great city, uh, a lot of interesting people. I'm um, definitely looking forward to the sessions today. Uh, plan on hitting at least uh, three, hopefully four, before I have to leave out around noon to go to the airport to get back home and get back to my family. But uh, HashiConf was definitely a dope, dope conference. I am glad I got the opportunity to come out here. Um, it was well, well worth the trip. Um, lots of valuable information, lots of great people, lots of great interactions with uh, vendors and other uh, people in the cloud space. Um, and really, that is really all I have. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, add to this video some of the clips and uh, photos that I take, that I've taken out throughout this last day. And then um, that'll be that. Uh, Seattle, once again, it's been real. And um, that's that. So let's get to the videos and the photos from day two of HashiConf. Oh, oh. There we go. So we're leaving Seattle today. Last day of HashiConf. Getting ready to go into this building, gain some more valuable insight, valuable knowledge. Um, Seattle's been a great city. Definitely enjoyed my time here a couple of days. A very interesting city. Um, a lot of unique things that I haven't seen anywhere else. Um, I've been to Redmond before, but never to Seattle, the, the city. Um, so, it's been real. Let's go in here and uh, 
I'm learning some more cloud stuff. So, that was HashiConf. I mean, my experience at HashiConf was definitely a positive one. I really look forward to going back next year. Hopefully, I get the opportunity to. I would say the only lightweight gripe I have was uh, hopefully they open up uh, more training slots, training spots. I was was unable to attend training the first day uh, due to uh, a lack of slots and really the organization I work for not um you know, really getting it approved in time for me to tra take the training. But even after it was, you know, we tried to work it out, there were still no slots available. Like, all the classes were done. Um, which, you know, HashiCorp makes a very popular suite of products for people in the cloud community, right? But um, the talks were great. I learned a lot. Uh, my interactions with everyone was great from the employees from a staff to an executive level. Those were all great. The vibe was great. I met a lot of great people there. Seattle was a uh, was a great venue. So very, very, very positive um, impression of um, my first ha HashiCon. I, I look forward to attending again, and hopefully I get the opportunity to. So that's really it in a nutshell. That's the uh, recap of my HashiConf. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. For those of you in cloud, um, cloud security, whether it's cloud security, cloud ops, DevOps, Sec DevOps, any of those, you know, whether you're an application developer, just an, just an app dev for cloud, um, I would recommend trying to attend one or at the very least checking out the HashiConf, the HashiCorp, excuse me, suite of tools. If you're not familiar with them already, um, a lot of innovative things, a lot of different ways of thinking about things, which, you know, coming from the conference, it helped change my mindset on a lot of things. So um, I plan on carrying that, you know, forward in my organization I currently work for, as well as, you know, just in my professional career. I think it'll help, uh, you know, it'll, it'll help enhance my career greatly. It definitely helped enhance my knowledge level. Um, but yeah, that, that that's it. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, or you just enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, you really want to, you like the things I'm putting on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. The like and subscribe button will help Google's mystical, magical algorithm really uh, get my videos out to the masses better. Um, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, hit that notification bell. Um, uh, my next couple of videos, I, I pretty much have them mapped out. Um, I'm probably going to do my, my take on the keynote, the Apple keynote that just happened, just so you know. And then after that, um, my unfortunately, my phone's not coming in until October 1st. But uh, I ordered the iPhone Pro Max, the uh, 51200 Green Edition. So I'll do an unboxing and um, um, review my impressions of the phone. That'll probably be the following video. Uh, maybe not immediately following, maybe two videos following the next one, but it'll be coming soon. Uh, well, with that being said, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you have a great day, great rest of your week, great weekend. And with that, I'm out.